In December of 1972, three astronauts blasted off on the last Apollo mission to the moon. Along the way, they looked back and took these pictures of what NASA now calls the Blue Marble. Probably know we're not the first to discover this, but uh, we'd like to confirm from the crew of America that the world is round. Roger, I'd like to data point. Today, four decades later, astronauts look down at their planet every day from the International Space Station a tinker toy dragonfly orbiting the Earth 250 miles up. From here, the Earth is a world among other worlds, all executing a dance choreographed by gravity. The moon do -si does slowly behind the Earth's limb, squashed flat by the atmosphere. Sunrise comes as a sudden arc of light against black space. Solar panels shift to catch the bounty of energy. In orbit, astronauts are no longer bound by the cycle of day and night. Some orbits might look up at an unsetting sun tracing a wheel in the sky, or look down on the dark shadow of a solar eclipse. By day, the Earth is alive, a single geological organism. You can see it breathe, belching gas from volcanoes, and wrapped by whirling storms of rain and lightning. The oceans are Earth's glory, the source of its color and life as we know it. As the station slips into night, the world's nervous system emerges. The lonely gulfs are lit up by constellations of oil drilling platforms, extracting the fossilized remains of ancient sun-fed life. The station never crosses the poles but it goes far enough north and south to see the wavering crowns of Aurora. Once we looked up at the heavens from Earth, now we look down and out, an angel's view of a spinning ball under the fixed stars, a waypoint for the wandering comets. In the decades since Apollo, robot spacecraft have visited all the planets except Pluto. In July of 2013, the Cassini spacecraft looked back and snapped a picture. Far beyond the many-hued rings of Saturn was our own blue marble, a pale blue dot, as Carl Sagan called it. And still the only pale dot we know, yet.